Hey guys, welcome. <clears throat> Here's our review video. Our right, first thing we're going to do here is take a look at this um, triangle, uh, triangle proof. Uh, I didn't mark the given yet, um, so we can't actually do this one yet, but um, I'm going to go ahead and write the given down with you guys right now. So we're going to prove that these two triangles are congruent. So we, we're looking at the bow tie picture, and whenever we look at the bow tie picture, we know there's one thing for sure that we can prove. But uh, first of all, we need to know kind of what what we have here. So uh, the first thing is we're going to go ahead and do the given. And the given for us in this is that C is the midpoint of AE. And then we're going to also be given um, angle A is congruent to angle E. Okay. So let's go ahead and mark all the things that we know. So A and E are congruent, so we're going to go ahead and mark those two angles. Uh, if C is a midpoint, that's got to be re uh, referencing us to let us know that since C is right here in the middle, this segment and this segment are going to be congruent segments now. So we can mark them congruent. And then whenever we see the bow tie, the first thing we almost immediately want to do is recognize that we have those vertical angles. Okay, so given this picture, I'm looking at it. Again, I haven't started my proof yet. I'm looking and I'm thinking this is probably going to be angle side angle. So let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, I first am going to go ahead and set up step one, uh, that angle A is congruent to angle E, and that's given. And there I've proven an angle already. Okay. Next I'm going to talk about, and again, you could do this in different steps in different ways. But C is the midpoint of AE, and that is also given. Now, that didn't prove anything, so I can't write a letter next to it. But what that does help us prove is the next statement that AC and CE are congruent. And that's the definition of a midpoint. And there I proved the side. And last but not least, I've got to prove the last angle, and that's going to be this angle C. Now, we can't write C. We have to use the point E, C, D. So you can say angle E, C, D is congruent to, and I can go B, C, A. And that's another angle, and we can prove that by vertical. So I've proven my ASA. So my last step, step five, okay, my last step would here be to just say the triangle proof, and the reason was we set up the top angle side angle, okay, and there we go, that's the full proof. All right, let's take a look at a couple more problems, okay. Our next problem, you're going to see problems like this on the test, where we're going to give two triangles um, uh, some information. So here's our two given pieces of information. And we're going to want to mark them, and we're going to want to go ahead and say which triangle is congruent to which triangle and why. So taking a look at this one, D is the midpoint of AC. So if D is the midpoint, then we know that these two segments are congruent. AD is congruent to DC. So AD is congruent to DC. And last but not least, I should look at this, and whenever we share a side, we always know that those two sides are going to be congruent. So I know those two sides so um, are congruent because they're sharing it. So I have side, side, side. So why? All you have to do for the why is use one of our four reasons. In this case, it's side, side, side. And then we got to make sure we match everything up. Okay. So what does A match up with? Well, well, it looks like A is going to match up with C over here. Uh, B is obviously going to be matched with B, and D is going to be matched with D. Okay? Be very careful that you put the triangle uh, in the right uh, spot, the corresponding correct spot. Okay. So we've got one more of these. Okay. Again, we have some information here. We have parallel lines given to us in AK and is congruent to KT. So we can go ahead and mark that, AK, KT. And then when I'm looking at this, I also see that I have uh, vertical angles here. And these are right here, 
parallel lines. So I can actually show two different ways of doing this. There's two different answers. I can show uh, alternate interior angles here and get angle side angle, or I could have put an angle here and here and got angle angle side. So two different options. Either way, A is going to be matching with T, K is going to match with K, and uh, that's an E, I believe, I wrote up there. Um, and E is going to match with L. And then Y, this way I did angle side angle. Okay, one moment, I got to adjust. Okay, sorry, I had to fold and adjust the paper. All right, here we go, here's our last one. In our last one, we're given some information. Um, so this was our given right here and here. Um, and we want to prove that the segment TU and TS are congruent. Well, I, I don't know how to prove that those segments are congruent. I have really not enough information to do that. But if I can prove the triangle is congruent, then I can use CP, CTC to prove it. So first of all, TV bisects SVU. So the word bisect means cut into two equal halves. So that means this angle and this angle are going to be two congruent angles. Uh, then it also says that TSV, this angle here, um, is going to be congruent to TUV, this angle here. Okay, so I have two angles, and then if you look actually in the middle, TV is shared, so I'm going to have angle, angle, side. So how I'm going to prove this triangle is angle, angle, side. Once I have the triangle proved, then I can go ahead and use my CP, CTC to show that the set, those sides are congruent. Uh, so first step, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to go and I'm going to throw all of this in right away. Uh, TS, uh, sorry, V is uh, congruent to triangle, or angle, sorry, TUV. Okay. Um, and then we also have, so this is step one, sorry. Uh, then we also have TV uh, bisects angle SVU. Okay, so this is all given. Okay, I kind of ran out of room over here, so I'm going to mark my stuff over here, but I have an angle already, so that's good. Uh, next, uh, since we did the bisecting piece, let's go ahead and talk about the, which ones are congruent. So SVT, angle SVT, and angle TVU. Those are congruent. And that's just the definition of angle bisector. There we go, we proved another angle congruent. So, so far we got an angle and an angle. Now we gotta prove a side. That would be TV. It's congruent to TV. And that's by reflexive property. So there's a side. So now I have my angle, angle, side. All I have to do is go ahead and prove the triangle is congruent. So step four, triangle, we gotta be very careful. I write this in the correct order. Um, S is gonna match with U, V with V, T with T. So S, V, T is congruent to triangle U, V, T. And this is because of angle, angle, side. Now once the triangle is proved congruent, now I can actually say that these two segments, these corresponding segments, are in fact congruent. So let's go ahead and write that down. So TU is congruent to TS, why? Because of CP, C, T, C, again, corresponding parts in congruent triangles or of congruent triangles are congruent, okay? And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you.